So we're going to calculate the initial pH. Initial pH means uh, before we've added any sodium hydroxide. And remember in this case, because it's a weak acid, it's going to uh, partially dissociate. So we can't just take the negative log of the concentration like we do for a strong acid. We actually have to calculate uh, the pH of a weak acid. So any acid, when you add it to water or dissociate, um, will uh, donate a proton, H+, plus, and make HVO+. Plus. But weak acid, that's an equilibrium. It's only going to partially dissociate. So in this case, what we're going to make is acetate, the acetate ion, and HVO+. Plus. To solve any equilibrium problem, we can use an um, ice table approach. So we have our initial change at equilibrium concentrations. Initially, we know this was 0.1 molar that was given. And there's no acetate or HVO plus uh, produced. The change, we have to lose some of the acetic acid. If we just sort a of one-to-one -one ratio, we're going to gain exactly the same amount of acetate and HVO plus. Equilibrium, we just combine them, so this is 0.1 molar minus some amount, and this is going to be x and x. Remember, for the acid dissociation constant, it's equal to the products of reactants, like any equilibrium constant. So we've got the acetate concentration at equilibrium, HVO plus concentration at equilibrium, and acetic acid concentration, also at equilibrium. Um, and we know at E here, these are equilibrium concentrations. So we can put those in. So these are both going to be x. So that's x squared. And the acetate concentration is 0.1 minus x. And if we look up K for acetic acid, the Ka acid dissociation value is 1.7 times 10 to the minus 5. And in this case, we can do a quadratic equation, or we can just make an approximation and say, you know, this value of uh, the Ka value is pretty small compared to 0.1. So 0.1 minus x isn't going to make a lot of difference. It's going to basically be 0.1. So we'll make the approximation. And in which case we can say that um, the x value, which is our HVO plus concentration, is going to equal 0.1 times the Ka value. It's 1.75 times 10 to the minus 5 square rooted, uh, which ends up giving us 1.32 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. And to get the pH, we just take negative log of that. You should always kind of approximate it. So this is times 10 to the minus 3, so the pH is going to be somewhere near 3, and it ends up being 2.88.